recording. And let's get started. So thank you very much for joining our session for today as we discuss uh, email handling and calendar management. So some basics lang that we have to remember. If you want to offer email handling and calendar management as a virtual assistant service, uh, what are the requirements? Definitely, you must have good communication skills. So papasok ulit dyan yung ating writing skills at pati na rin yung ating grammar uh, grammar at saka spelling. I, I was so embarrassed kasi yesterday, I took a phone call by, uh, from my mobile phone. And then, supposedly, parang after nung discussion, nag-decide kagad ako na mag-reply na doon sa email. So, I replied from my mobile phone. Nag-reply naman yung nag inquire ng service ko. And then, when I was reviewing my email, I was so embarrassed kasi napansin ko meron akong dalawang misspelling. Like, yung steps naging steos. Kasi I was typing from a small phone. Tapos yung... Um, meron pang isa eh. Um, basta may isa pa na, na misspell ko siya. So, kaya oh, buti na lang hindi naman naapektuhan yung aking credibility <laughs> for those misspellings. No? Pero ganun ka-importante yung uh, pagiging concern sa mga emails natin. Kasi minsan, namimis, pwede ka na mahusgahan ng tao. Especially in a business and professional uh, conversation uh, context when you are talking about charging a sum for your services no, that you that you want to offer. So definitely communication skills will be very important. Uh, maganda rin kung gamay mo kung ano yung features ng iyong email management, uh, ng iyong email na ginagamit. Kadalasan kapag uh, merong email handling and calendar management na involved, there are several scenarios. Either... Um, you're using a platform like maybe uh, Nimble, tapos may shared access kayo dun sa account na yun, tapos naka-integrate yung email account. Therefore, alimbawa, gaya dun sa Nimble account ko, nakakapit dun yung mga Gmail accounts ko. So meaning, if I will decide to give another person access to my account, uh, pwedeng hindi ko kailangan ibigay yung aking username and password sa kanya, pero ang pwede kong gawin, bigyan siya na access sa akin Nimble account that will automatically give access to my Gmail account without worrying na baka palitan niya yung password ko. So, yan siguro yung mga dapat yung i-note off. Kasi karamihan ng mga clients, kaya ayaw din nilang nag outsource ng email handling or calendar management. Kasi syempre, email is very personal eh. What if mag-away kayo ng BA mo, kapos palitan niya yung email address mo o may gawin siya dun sa iyong email, di ba? So, there's a lot of trust um, involved. But of course, you as a virtual assistant, please be mindful of the data privacy law. Um, marami tayo mga makikita sa emails. Misa may mga personal conversations, misa may away, o kaya mga surprising na laman dun sa email. Don't do anything dun sa email na hindi mo kailangan. Don't start searching for information that you don't need to search uh, to begin with. So just focus on what needs to be done pagdating dun sa email, no? Um, yung mga clients, pwede silang mag-share sa inyo through platforms, like kagaya ng sinabi ko kanina, yung Nimble CRM. Uh, they can also give you a grant access to your Gmail account. Uh, pwede may mga gawin sila sa settings para ma-enable sila to do that. Meron din naman mga service na nag-auto-share uh, that will allow you to auto-share uh, certain emails that complies to certain labels. So, we discuss din natin yan. At kailangan, um, kung gusto mo naman mag-handle din ng calendar ng iyong prospective client, pwede kang gumamit ng mga calendar scheduling tools. Now, note that very few people would hire you directly para mag-handle lang ng email and calendar nila. Most likely, you're rendering other works or services for this client o kaya meron ka lang manage na specific email, not necessarily yung personal email ng client mo. Halimbawa, nag-run siya ng campaign uh, nag-create siya ng special email address for that, tapos yun yung ipapamanage niya sa'yo para sagutin mo. So yun, mas less complicated yon. Pero the moment mag-increase yung trust at kailangan nila ng mas efficient na service, then pwede yung pwede yung, depende sa level of trust, pwede niya ipahandle na sa'yo, pati yung personal email niya. Alright, so some things to note of. 
Of course, if you will venture into email handling and calendar management, you need to have proper equipment, your computer, pass internet, at dahil ang email nga, pwede mo na rin i-administer to the mobile device, then pwede, mo rin, pwede kang gumamit ng mobile phone, of course, or tablet. And then for software, uh, it depends on what you're using. Uh, some of the email platforms now allows you to synchronize your web-based email, so that's possible. However, it is likely that you will use the one that is prescribed to you by your clients. So let's proceed dun sa mga best practices sa pag handle ng email. So rather than uh, i-PowerPoint ko siya, um, I decided to attribute it directly sa source para naman uh, mabasa nyo pa siya ng husto. So, ang isa sa mga pinakasikat na, na tao sa Pilipinas, although foreigner siya, na tumutulong sa mga virtual assistants to get online jobs, ay si Chris Docker. Uh, in fact, Chris Docker also authored uh, books no? na in relation dun sa kanyang, um, how do you call it? Yung sa kanyang mga tips kung paano mag-outsource. And then, sikat din siya para dun sa ito, no, yung mga advice niya or tips niya, like going virtual, how to work with a virtual assistant to manage your email. Now, maganda itong basahin kasi minsan, auto ito, ang ine-educate niya yung tao nag outsource Pero ikaw, kailangan alam mo rin siya eh. Kasi possible na makakuha ka ng job na hindi necessarily through Upwork, pwedeng directly. Like halimbawa, mag-post ka sa email mo and say, uh, who needs help in managing their emails? I can be a virtual assistant who can help you manage your emails. If you need to know how to do it, PM me. So kapag ganoon ka niya, pag nag-off, nag-ano ka ng ganoon, pwede talaga may kumontak sa'yo at sabihin na, uy talaga, you can help manage my emails. How will you do it? So, tatanungin ka niya. So, pag ganyan, kailangan meron ka ng ready-made na script, meron kang ready-made na paliwanag on how you're gonna go about it. Pero according to Chris Ducker, uh, sabi niya, to, kung gusto mo mag-outsource daw ng email mo o pa-handle mo sa iba, pwede kang mag-grant access to the person sa iyong account. Uh, pwede mo rin talaga ibigay yung username and password mo. Tapos, importante, magkaroon ka ng rules sa iyong uh, account. So for Chris Docker, ang kanyang rule, uh, sinasabi niya, you are only allowed to do one of the following. So ito yung pinaprescribe niyang rule sa kanyang VA, either magreply, delete or archive. So although of course mayro mga emails na for reply na hindi ikaw necessarily ang magre-reply, pwedeng siya ang magre-reply yung client mo. Pero pini-prepare mo na siya. So for example, like meron kang important folder or reply folder. So, parang sinasabi mo na, okay, I put 10 items on your reply folder, please reply to them. no? So, at least very clear siya. Tapos, nagbigay din siya ng mga iba't ibang rules. So, ito yung mga example ng mga rules niya. No? Like, pag merong podcast interview or press request, so, pinapadala niya yun sa, doon sa isang tao, kay Jam. So, ibig sabihin, yung VA na nagbabasa ng email niya, pag ang nakuha niyang email ay podcast interview at press request, imbis na kay Chris papasagot, ipapasagot niya kay Jam. Okay? Kapag halimbawa may nag-e-email nag kay Chris Docker, nag inquire tungkol sa VA and outsourcing, um, sasagutin nung email VA yung mga tanong, pero ang reference document niya ay yung VA QA document. Naalala niyo, for those of you who attended our live chat, session yesterday. Diba we talked about having a script. So it is possible na if yung hinahandle mong email ay para sa isang product or service, possible talaga na magkaroon siya ng mga email email questions no? or questions sent in via email. So pwedeng yung nasa chat script mo, live chat script mo, pwedeng yun din ang nilalagay mo sa email. So dito mas nagiging efficient din yung person na imbis na siya yung sumasagot sa emails, which is, well, that's yun na nangyayari sa akin, personally, eto, ito na yung gagawin ng email, sasagutin siya. Ngayon, kung merong mga speaking invitations, uh, hindi si Chris ang nag-decide ito, kaya siya hinahayaan, hinahighlight siya as important, siguro meron na lang folder na speaking invitations para si Chris ang mag-reply. Ganon din kapag meron nag-e-email na gustong mag-guest post, like halimbawa, 
uh, like sa Digital Filipino, we get a lot of guest posts. Although madalas sa mga guest posts, dahil sa dami nila, misa nai-ignore na lang sila. In this case, si Chris, meron na siyang uh, reply na automatic na pinapadala, declining the offer, or pinapadala ng VA rather than ignorin yung email. And then, kapag halimbawa meron nag apply na VA, Uh, at mag email kay Chris para mag-apply na VA, ang rule na sinetap niya para do sa virtual assistant niya is i-forward kay Steph para si Steph ang magre-reply. Kapag merong nag, nag-request for partnership, ganun din, i-forward kay Jam. At kapag may personal messages, it's a check if the person is in the approved contact list at leaving it for Chris to reply. So, ibig sabihin, yung approved contact list, ito yung mga taong willing si Chris na sagutin, pero kung hindi, i-clear pa siguro kay Chris kung ano yung mga gagawin sa email na yun. So, there are more rules, pero ito yung para mga uh, ito yung parang pinaka, pinaka sinusunod niya. And then, ano pa yung mga other things na ginagamit niya, no? So, mapapansin nyo, uh, binanggit niya yung star feature sa Gmail. Tapos, di ba, sa mga emails natin, pwede natin silang lagyan ng labels. So, ginagamit yung labels. You can also set up automatic filters if you want to and delete as necessary. Now, kung gusto niyo pang mas maging efficient ang inyong pag-handle ng isang email, lalo na kapag yung hinahandle niyong email eh, napakatagal na niya, no? At marami siyang clutter. So, pwede nyo rin sundin itong tips ni Chris Docker, no? Sa, ano to, seven ways to get your inbox under control and regain your entrepreneurial sanity. So, apart from dun sa reply, delete, and archive na rules na binigay niya, meron pa siyang mga ibang rules na sinusunod, like yung mga sagot niya, standard niya, ay three sentences. So, at least yung VA na nag-reply din, hindi naman pwedeng one-liner lang. So, parang meron siyang pretty much na three sentence, kahit na yung pang third sentence ay thank you or let's keep in touch. Uh, sometimes we get automatically included in meaning this, uh, pero dito, um, automatically, naka-unsubscribe na siya sa mga meaning this. No? Um, sorry about that. Tinatry kong isa rin yung email. And then, Uh, since boss siya, he gets included in a lot of email threads. So, pinapatanggal niya yung sarili niya. At ito, gumamit siya ng uh, project management system. Uh, in our case, we also use a project management system use, using Basecamp. So, pwede mo rin tanangin sa client mo kung yung mga project management system emails ba niya, gusto niyang pumasok dun sa email inbox niya or totally imamanage na lang niya inside Basecamp. Kung imamanage niya inside Basecamp, pwedeng kasama dun sa role ng assistant, uh, pwedeng isa-summarize niya na oh, ito yung numabas dun sa uh, project management system mo na updates. So instead na lalagin ka sa base cap or titinan mo email, yung email isa-isa kung sino yung mga nag-submit, um, pwedeng gumawa ng summary yung VA mo. So depende yon kung ano yung napag-usapan nyo. Okay? Uh, kung meron siyang mga gumagawa ng to-do list, hindi siya iniiwan sa email, so pinapagawa siya separately. At uh, kailangan nga yung email, as much as possible, uh, web-based na siya. Alright? So, yan yung second tip na binigay niya. Actually, maganda magbasa ng mga tips, no? Kasi yung mga tips are usually given by people who either has experience in outsourcing their email or has experience handling email of other people. So this are the article is managing email as a virtual assistant. Um, ito naman from the perspective of Rachel. Ang maganda ko, ang maganda dong kay Chris from the perspective of as from the perspective of a boss or a client asking a virtual assistant to handle their email. Ito naman um Ah, uh, ito naman iba naman yung ginawa niya, no? So dito uh, nag nag-set up daw siya ng labels, no? So mayroong correspondence, personal, receipt or travel. So I guess it depends, no, sa client mo at ano yung mapag-uusapan niyo na process para i-sortin yung mga emails. And then kapag may mga receipts, ayan, yung mga receipts niya naka 
properly categorized as well. Now, siguro kaya may mga receipt siya na nakalagay sa email, depende sa trabaho ng person na to. If this person's work includes maybe purchasing, o kaya uh, may mga transactions siguro siya na kailangan talaga properly ma-record siya. So, sino sort out na to according to year? Lalo na siguro kung matagal na yung relationship mo or the person ask you, oh, I have a 10-year-old Gmail account. Please organize it for me. <laughs> Possible yun, ha? Kasi kung tutusin ako, libo yung mga emails na hindi ko na nabasa, no? yung karamihan doon, mga kung saan sa mailing list. Pero this is a, a, an interesting example. All right? Tapos, um, ito yung mga organ- paano ino-organize yung inbox, email, o di ba sabi ni Chris Docker, wag kang maglalagay ng to-do, pero sa kanya meron siyang to-do. I guess kaya siya meron to-do kasi di ba sa emails, minsan nagkakaroon tayo ng mga commitments, like halimbawa, hi, please submit a report. Okay, I will submit a report next week, or I will give my inputs on this uh, document that you sent to me and I will send my inputs on or before Friday. So technically, that is a to-do. Kaya siguro naglagay siya ng mga to-do tagging. No? Tapos may mga FYI, no reply needed. So, yan naman yung sinetap niyang labels. So, ang suggestion ko sa inyo, kung gusto niyo mag-offer ng email handling as a service, look at your email and organize it. No? Para bang imaginein mo na you're, gonna, you're going to render it as a service to your client para yung email mo mismo, yung how nice your inbox is, how organized, how clean, uh, will serve as a perfect example of how emails um, should be organized. All right? And then, um, yan siya. Okay, so that's an interesting one. I really like that article. No? Uh, ito naman, how to share your email inbox with a personal assistant. So, para ang context din niya, um, ano rin siya, no? Uh, from an employer perspective. So, ito naman na sinabi niya. Uh, ayan, folder setup. Okay? So, or folders or labels, depende kapag Gmail, labels. Tapos nakalagay dito, iba naman yung sorting niya. Review immediately, review by end of week, Review when time is available. Uh, PA to respond. PA handled on your behalf. Okay? So, so, so ibig sabihin, kung ikaw yung magre- kung ikaw yung virtual assistant at na-replyan mo na yung label na yon, lalagyan mo ng PA handled on your behalf. Nihalagyan niya ng ganong label para siguro yung client makita niya ano yung mga emails na yung PA niya ang sumagot. So I think ito gusto ko tong tagging na to. I I find this to be very practical kasi clear kagad. Makita mo rin ko ano yung mga email na hindi pa sinasagot at kaya siguro hindi masagot ng assistant mo. Kasi di ba? Thank you for sending an email. Uh, thank you for your email. I'm currently unavailable but I will reply to you asa. Pero actually, yun yung default pero magkakaroon ka pa ng second email para the person will properly respond talaga. Kung ano yung magiging sagot niya. And then, for credentials, yan gumagamit siya ng mga tools, no? like Zimbra, na if you allow your emails to be managed by Zimbra, then pwede yung may mga folder ka na pwede mong i-share. Okay? Sa Google, although, although ang assumption dito, Zimbra yung email na gagamitin mo. Sa Google Mail, uh, lab, since label siya, merong mga apps like Gre- Grexit or Squad Mail that allows you to do that. No? So, mamaya siguro tignan natin si Squad Mail for this purpose. And then, ayan. So, ito, interesting din yung kanyang practical na suggestion. No? Now, tignan natin si Prialto kung ano yung kanilang ginagawa. Okay. So, si Prialto, uh, technically, itong website na to, um, para siyang pang BA, no? Virtual Executive Assistant. No? So, be at the right place at the right time. Our virtual assistants can also be your time manager and your sales assistant. So, tinan mo, nag-handle siya ng scheduling, no? At kung ano-ano pa. Alright. Although wala akong tingnan natin kung meron tayong makitang careers dito mamaya. Pero for the meantime, puto muna. Tapos meron din siyang time manager 
Although yung time manager niya dito, I assume kasama na rin yung tiyatawag na calendar handling. No? Yan. Keep your task list organized, delegate. No? Tapos, um, sila yung nagmamanage, magpa-follow up sa'yo kung nagawa mo na ba to. So, para meron ka rin taga-follow up. Kasi di ba minsan, nagko-commit tayo and then nakakalimutan natin. So, misa maganda yung may nagna-nudge, not because boss natin siya. Pero, dahil, kaya nga tayo nag-hire ng assistant eh. Kasi ang purpose ng assistant is to keep us up on our toes and make sure na wala tayong nakakaligtaan. At yung pwede nilang gawin, pwedeng i-delegate natin sa kanila. Especially as they become more familiar with what we do. But if you want to offer um, the scheduling or time management or relationship management as a service, pwede nyo tingnan si prealto.com. Tingnan mo kung paano naging describe yung service nila. Kasi di ba misan as a virtual assistant, Paano ko ba ipipitch na I'm offering email handling and calendar management? How should I say it? No, So yun, pwede nyo tingnan si prealto.com paano nila pinipitch yung sarili nila. And hopefully you can get an idea from there on how you can pitch your service. Alright? Meron ba silang jobs? Ah, oh, we're hiring in Portland. Nag-hire din daw sila sa Philippines. So, mukhang nag-a-apply, nag- kumukuha din sila ng applicant from the Philippines. O, di ba? Okay kung napuntahan natin. So, jumpstart your career. Alright? So, I think this is a good, no? This is good, no? Kasi, so at least meron tayo na shortlist na na website na pwede magbigay ng jobs lalo na doon sa mga gustong mag-focus sa relationship management and time management that includes email handling and uh, calendar, right? And then, um, ito naman, ito, ah, sa, sa search wall, pero ganun din siya, no? Isa siyang service provider. So, mapapansin nyo, as a service provider, sa virtual, meron siyang email assistant at saka meron siyang schedule, scheduling and planning the service. So, ito, di delegate mo yung email management mo. So, napansin nyo lahat ng sinabi natin kanina, set up alerts, rules and filters to suit your needs. So, usually, kaya maganda yung may nakaset up ka ng process, parang, parang ticker na lang siya. Ano yung mga labels na gusto mo? Ano yung ganito? Ano yung ganyan? Para madali mo ma-set up yung account. Update, manage your contact list, unsubscribe, send introductory emails to new clients, manage your autoresponder when you're out of the office, respond to requests for meetings, set them up, and add them to your calendar. Okay? So, ito kung tutusin, um, what do you offer? So, kung sabihin mo, I'm a virtual assistant and I offer email handling. I can do the following for you. Yan, yan na yung pwede mong sabihin na pwede mong gawing service o pwede mong i-offer na service. Pero make sure na bago nyo ilagay yan, talagang kaya nyo gawin yan. So, practicean nyo na yung Gmail account nyo and uh, tingnan nyo kung kaya nyo siyang iset up or mag-offer kayo ng service sa ibang tao and uh, kahit na pro bono, help set it, set it up para magkaroon lang kayo ng experience. Alright? Um, yan, pati yung template, no? Kung paano sumagot sa mga emails. So, usually, parang CRM, parang yung sa web live chat support lang yan, na meron tayong mga templates. Ganon din siya. Pwede may template na na. Sa nimble.com, uh, meron akong YouTube video on customer relationship management, no? Pinakita ko rin yung ginagamit kong system si Nimble. Yung mga templates ko rin nakaset up na. So, kapag may nag-email sa akin, automatic, meron na akong pwedeng ipadalang email. Alright? Uh, may nakakonfigure na ako. Tapos, kung may mga task management tools ka, yan. Like, in our case, we're using Basecamp. So, pwede rin i-gamitin yun. Alright? So, that is uh, search well. Now, ang isa pang service ni Searchwall ay uh, scheduling and planning. So, sa scheduling naman, yan, scheduling ng meetings and conference call, action items and daily itineraries, 
managing calendars and appointment. So so ideal to dun sa isang boss, no? Na pwedeng kailangan ng tulong. Tapos mapapansin niyo oh, yung mga services nila at $398 per month, no? So 12 hours of task work, one user included, one dedicated assistant, available Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Okay? So, ito, ano lang to, inbox and scheduling, pero mapapansin nyo, ang charge na nila ay $398 per month. Kasi, 12 hours of task work eh. So, so para magkaroon ng malabas yun. Medyo mahal din, ha? Sa bali kasi, detailed naman siya. So, di ba yung mga pag ano naman sa email, minutes lang yan. So, yung 12 hours na yan, marami na magagawa yan. So, by the, siguro by the, ano yan, yung charging niya, hindi necessarily niya round up kagad. Alright? So, at least this should give you some ideas on how to go about it. Tingnan natin kung meron siyang um, careers. Ito, meron tayong work for search one. Tingnan natin yung work. I think yung work for search one yata, US-based lang. So, huwag mo yung work for search one. Okay. Tingnan natin yung kanyang careers page kung meron pang ibang opportunities. Mukhang wala na yata. So, anyway, gamit na lang natin si search one parang guide, pang inspire kung how can we go about in promoting our service and how much should we price? We're not saying that how they price is effective, no? Pwedeng ano rin siya, no? Mahirap yung ganyang rate. Pero I guess it depends on the market that you're trying to serve, no? So here's another example. Um, ay, hindi ko pala napakita yung kanina, no? So siya, si, yung kanina, si ano yun? Searchwell.com yung kanina. So ito naman, si One Resource which offers a uh, virtual sales uh, support. So ito, ang email virtual assistant niya, um, makikita nyo na medyo ma malaki yung service. No? So time planning, telephone calls, medyo pati paghabol ng bayad, <laughs> paperwork. Okay, so mukhang marami silang ino-offer. Alright? So tingnan natin kung... Tingnan natin yung kanyang services page for more information. So, yung virtual business assistant niya, maraming hinahandle. So, I guess it depends kung ano yung forte ng service. Yeah, may time management. So, yung time management, I assume yun, basok na dyan yung calendar. Kasi, di ba, anything related to schedule, parang referred siya as, as ano eh, um, time management. Kaya kadalasan yung email at saka yung calendar, madalas magkasama siyang hinahandle ng mga virtual assistants. Kasi pag, pati yung pag-remind ng mga to-do, uh, nahasali siya sa mga dapat tutukan na isang virtual assistant. So if you want to be familiar on how they offer their service, pwede kang pumunta sa one resource uh, .com. Ayan o. No? To-do this, okay, scheduling and arranging meetings, diary management, alright? So, kaya kung nagko-contemplate ka mag-offer ng ganyang service, yun, pwede mong tingnan how they describe their services. Yung kanina natin nga natin, email management yun. Although, is email marketing and email management one and the same? Not necessarily. Pero depende, may mga entrepreneurs na pati yung email marketing binibigay nila sa virtual assistant as part of email management. Pwede kasing, limbaw, gaya ko. Uh, like in my case, if I speak in an event, usually baka kakuha ko anywhere from 10 to 20 business cards. Uh, kadalasan din ako nakakapagpadala ng thank you email. So, pwede yun pwedeng ibigay yun sa isang virtual assistant. Tapos yung virtual assistant ang i-enter siya sa contact list. Kung sinabi kong ipaki-add mo na rin siya sa LinkedIn ko, hanapin mo ko nasa Facebook siya, pa-add siya as a friend sa Facebook ko, and uh, padala mo ng email. So, that is a basic example of pwedeng gawin ng virtual assistant. Lalo na kung talagang all around na siya na assistant. Alright? Kasi, Madali, madali siya sabihin, no? Pero pag tinatry mo na siyang gawin on your own, 
malaki din yung oras na kinakain niya, in fairness. Okay? So, tingnan natin kung meron siyang careers. Meron ba siyang careers? Tingnan natin. About us. Wala tayo nakitang career eh. Kung, kung nag-hire sila. Although, mukhang from the site itself, para more foreign talaga siya rather than uh, international in terms of sa kanyang workforce na team, no? Kaya, kaya pwede hindi siya necessarily through the website nag-hire ng tao. But of course, there's nothing stopping you from sending an email to enqueries at oneresource.com if you're interested to work for them. But remember, huwag kayong magpapadala basta-basta ng email na hindi naman kayo talaga ready to offer your services to begin with. Alright? Uh, I'm curious, no, dun sa mga participants natin right now, um, are you full-time virtual assistants or are you working for companies right now? At kaya rin kayo nag attend ng webinar, you, do you want to offer para bang virt virtual assistant services sa company nyo or are you exploring other opportunities? I hope you can use the chat box and share more information, although ako lang makakabasa sa kanya. Okay. So, some tools that you can use, um, pwede nyo siyang isuggest sa clients nyo. Kasi kung tutusin, I don't really encourage you na humingi ng login access sa email ng isang client. I'd rather na, again, mag-go to meeting session ka, kapos pagamitin mo na lang siya ng tools like Tandem or Nimble o kung ano man. Um, or ano yun? Zapier. Kasi napakalaking accountability, napakalaking responsibility yung maghandle ng email ng ibang tao. Um, pero kung talagang confident naman kayo, then okay lang. Pero kung, kung ultimo yung client yung mismo, gusto mag-outsource pero worried kung ano lang yung ipapahandle niyo sa inyo, then you can also explore tools like Tandem. So yung Tandem, uh, instead na fino-forward yung email, pwede ka magkaroon ng shared emails, Gmail emails, and groups, I guess, following uh, certain rules, no? So, you can check out tandem.cc and see how how that can work for you. So, meron siyang shared Gmail labels at meron siyang group email at kung ano-ano pa. So, pwede nyo siyang i-explore, lalo na kung um, may client ka na winning pero maraming hesitation sa pag share ng kanyang email. Okay, so may isa tayong participant, si Mary. Sabi niya kaya siya nag ate ng series na to ay gusto niya mag-start ng kanyang BA career. Mary, I hope nakakatulong yung sessions natin so far sa sa'yo. Alright, so... May mga articles din on how to manage your calendar with a virtual assistant. So, ito, uh, you can check out kung ano yung in-offer ni Ace Concierge. Uh, ano yung ni-write ni aceconcierge.net sa kanyang article. At although ang ginawa niyang case study dito, ayan, create a Google account, enable us to manage his calendar appointments and presentation. Tapos, nag-create din siya ng accounts for conference calling and screen sharing. So, go to meeting, pwede yan. The client now forwards email threads with any needed appointment details. Okay. Or, pwede siya mag-follow up or scheduling. Or self-populate in the conference platform. So, ito medyo mas complicated pa siya, no? Pero, at, at least that is an example of uh, a possible solution. Meron din namang ibang solution, kagaya nito, uh, x.ai. Okay, so, ito mga AI naman to. Meet Ami and Andrew are AI personal assistants. Just CC them and they'll automatically schedule your meetings so you can focus on meaningful work. Okay, so ito, um, although wala tong ina-outsource or anything, but, but 
pero para magkaroon lang kayo ng idea kung how how does it work no yung gumagamit gumagamit ng AI pero sabi nga nila yung mga AI is although nagiging intelligent, intelligent application sa sila, self-learning sila, marami na sila nagagawa efficiently, pero kagaya ng transcription, kailangan pa rin talaga ng human beings, no? pati sa chat support for other special concerns. Pero kapag mga hindi pong mapasok sa mga nakadefined na rules, and that's where human beings can intervene. But if you just want to see how efficient na yung mga ibang systems, then tingnan nyo itong mga ganitong applications. Um, kasi sooner or later, yan din na itatanong sa'yo eh. What's the difference na kumuha na lang ako ng AI ske- meeting scheduler na application or service rather than hire a virtual assistant who can do it for me? No? So, yan yung mga sinasabi natin. Kailangan din natin paghandaan in the future. Alright. And then, um, here is another example. Ito may mga screenshots siya, no? yung how to share your Google Calendar with a virtual assistant um, na pwede yung gamitin as a guide. So, in this case, um, yan, no? meron, siyang, meron siyang mga step-by-step. Step. So, pag kagawa ng client ng calendar, kapos i-share niya yung calendar, para yung person na yon meron na siyang automatic na permission dun sa calendar na yon At yung permission niya can be makita niya yung event details at pwede rin siya mag-add ng items dun sa calendar. So, if you want to try that out, you can visit that article and see how it is done. And then, meron ka rin mga makikita pa mga virtual assistant service providers kagaya ng Baba Virtual. Oh, ayan ang oh, diba? ganda ng ba- Baba ang tawag ko, pero VABA. <laughs> Okay. VABA Virtual Assistant. So, napansin nyo, very simple lang yung pag-offer nyo ng service. Sinabi nyo lang that they offer um, email responses, screening, booking appointments, meeting coordination, calendar maintenance, and organization. But of course, if you really want to get the deals, you go through the effort of really explaining what you can do. Pero still, this is an example of how people might offer email ka- email and calendar handling uh, service to other people. Uh, meron din naman mga jobs kayong makikita na one way or another may relation to email. Pero makapansin nyo, kagaya nito, BA for code emailing. So, I will provide an Excel sheet with names and emails. Tapos, kailangan mo raw siyang padalhan ng email. Tapos, 207 per hour ang kanyang work. Uh, email sourcing for various countries tapos administrative administ- ano to? manage my online business so I guess kasama rin yung pag-handle ng kanyang email alright so although kung tutusin iba yung email management sa email marketing pero one way or the other misa na re-relate sila sa isa't isa kasi nandun nga yung effort na i-handle yung email at pagpapadala ng email. No? Pero I would suggest, pag-aralan nyo na lang siya at tingnan nyo pa kung ano yung paano kayo pwede mag-grow in that area. Sa people per hour, meron ka mga makikita, no? Yan, email verifier, um, email template. So, kung tutusin, pati yung pag-compose ng email, yung paggawa ng email template, binabayaran yan, no? Kaya pag magaling kang gumawa ng email, pwede ka rin makakuha ng trabaho in relation to email handling. So you can also check these sites out. Alright? Okay. So, are there questions at this time in relation to email handling and calendar management? Meron ba kayong gustong i-ask na question? Um, meron ba tayong gustong meron ba kayong gustong i-ask na question regarding this topic? Um, sa Upwork pala, merong skills test na tungkol sa email Alright, asa so, yung makita nating test tungkol sa email? Ay, sorry. 
Ayan. Email etiquette certification. So, I would suggest kung mag apply kayo na mag handle ng email, apart from passing the English test, kasi gusto mong patunayan na kaya mo mag-compose ng matinong email na hindi sasablay ang grammar mo o English mo, uh, mag-take ka ng test. Uh, I would also suggest that you take an email in etiquette certification. Lalo na kung gusto mong kumuha sa Upwork, no? At uh, yan ang i-discuss niya. Interpersonal internet etiquette, technical internet ite- etiquette, technical email etiquette, and interpersonal email etiquette. Again, um, kay ano mang grade na makuha mo, it's your option whether you want those grades to appear on your profile. If not, and you want to retake the test, you can retake the test after 90 days. Alright? So I would suggest um, taking those tests kasi maganda rin naman siya para sa inyo. Kasi, lalo na kung wala ka pang experience, no? at uh, gusto mong makakuha ng jobs, then, uh, pwede yung magsimula ka na mag-take ng mga tests. So, kung pagdating naman sa English test, you can visit this site. Uh, ayan. So, ang suggestion ko, you can take the English spelling test. If you want to get UK clients as well, you can get the English spelling test UK version. Take the U.S. word uh, usage test at yung U.S. English punctuation and mechanics test. Pwede nyo rin siyang kunin. Um, ano po ba? Iba kasi dyan pang writing professionals na, no? So, baka hindi na siya mag-work para sa inyo. Pero if you have the time, no? Like yung kagaya nung English sentence structure test, no? Yung mga editing skills test lalo na kung mag apply kayo na proofreader, no, kagaya dun sa mga ibang opportunities na na-discuss na natin, malaki rin na maitutulong niya sa inyo. Kasi maganda yung may baseline ka, makita mo how are you doing, para mamaya yung ina mo na ang galing-galing mo na ron, pero palagtay ka ng test, eh. It, ano, makita mo na you still have a lot to improve. So at least medyo makapag-ano ka, Makapag-plan ka, makapag-calibrate ka as necessary, at uh, ma-workout mo na ma-improve mo pa yung sarili mo and get better in all of this. Para at least, pag nag-apply talaga kayo for a VA job, iba yung confidence level mo na alam mo siya. At kung mag apply kayo sa Upwork at kukuha kayo ng jobs sa Upwork, uh, please don't forget uh, to also get the Upwork readiness test para mapakita nyo na familiar kayo sa mga policies ng Upwork. Uh, kasi yung yung mga nagtitake, yung mga nag-Upwork, hindi necessarily familiar sila sa mga policies ng Upwork. So, if you take this test, uh, then more or less, nandun yung confidence level din ng client na familiar ka sa rules ng Upwork at kaya mong sumunod dun sa mga policies and regulations na meron yung system. All right? So if we don't if you have questions kindly type your questions now if there are no more questions kindly press the raise your hand button Okay. By the way, no, um, dun pala sa mga gumagamit ng gmail.com, yung question na saan mo gagamitin yung grant access to your account? Ito yun. Ito yung grant access to your account. So, pwede kang mag-add another account para mag-authorize ka ng ibang tao para ma-access yung account mo. So, ibig sabihin, hindi mo necessarily kailangan na ipa-access yung... Hindi mo kailangan ibigay yung username and password mo, pero you can give other people access to your account. Alright? So... Kung wala na tayong concerns, kindly press the raise your hand button if you're okay. And thank you very much for joining this session.